friends, welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. I know the lighting's a little weird. <clears throat> I'm gonna do two footer today, so my camera's like super high. I'm excited. So in the last few videos, I don't know which one, I did my, so first I showed you how I mixed up um, some gradient colors just from two colors and a black and a white. Uh, and then I did sisters with them. Let me show you, they're so cute. Um, I wanted to see which one we liked better. But whether we like the light to dark or dark to light. Um, I think they're both really cute. So what we're gonna do today, I had another idea in here. And like, I don't know if it's gonna look nice or not. Um, oh, sorry, <laughs> I have an ear infection. In the video where I did that, I was like, couldn't really focus on what I was talking about. I was like, what's wrong with me? Cause I've been sick. Yeah, I have like tinnitus and ear infection. Anyways, so I might be a little funny today. It doesn't matter. So, okay, what I want to do is I want to make lines, okay, of the gradients. But, um, like, okay, so I'll start with like the dark one, okay? And then the next one I'll go lighter, lighter, lighter. But then I'll do like a pinwheel and then start the dark one, dark one on the next section and a pinwheel, then the dark one on the next section, pinwheel, pinwheel, pinwheel. Do you know what I mean? Maybe I have to show you. Number two, the pillow pen I'm using, I found this one. Um, so you know how I try to find like good consistencies, right? So one of the things I've done is I've tinted a ultra deep base of Sherwin-Williams. I tinted it white, thinking it'll be thinner. It is a little thinner, but what I've done, because I'm doing a two-footer, I've added a few splashes of water just in case. I'm still, I don't know if it's a good consistency or not. It looks a little thick. I might add a bit more water. I've been adding water lately. I like it for bigger pieces and for blowing out because the third thing I want to talk about is a few videos back, I tested two new hair dryers and I really found one that I liked. Um which is the mini, you know how I use the big baby lips? This is the mini travel guy, look at that. Now, I haven't actually used it on blue paints, I used it on Dutch pour paints. There's like drawbacks, it's not the perfect one because it doesn't have a cool shot, but um, whatever, we're gonna try it anyways. Mm, I should probably try with this little mouth, right? Mm, I don't know, which one should I do? Oops, I don't know, whatever, we'll try. I just wanna have fun anyways. I, I don't really care if it turns out ugly today because I'm just so loopy, who cares, right? Okay. Uh, I don't know, let's get to work, right? Okay, I have my two footer here. I just put a bit of paint on the bottom of it for it to, it's gonna like fly off anyway. It's not being perfect, but we don't care, right? So I have this whole thing. I'm hoping it's a, wait, there's a little yucky, hold on. Um, I'm gonna add a touch more water to be. Now the problem is I'm kind of, you know, because my bloom paints are, are thick, so I don't want to make this too thin, but we're just gonna go with it. So I added a few more drops to see. It's very hard to tell the consistency of pillow paint, whereas your pore medium, you can do the drip test, but because pillow paint just so it's like the makeup is different, just by doing the drip, you can't always tell. So let's hope for the, oh wait, there's a little yucky. All right, I'm gonna use the whole can and then, you know what I mean? See what happens. So I hope you got the idea of what I was talking about. Oh, let me mix it up a bit more. We have a bit of, I don't know how long. This has been, I think I did this a year ago. Mix the, the, them up like this, so we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, pinwheel layering, let's call it, right? And I want to put, oopsie, hold, hold your horses. I saw that one. Um, I want to put enough color. I definitely want negative space. I'm just doing this to mix in the stuff. Um, I definitely want negative space. So, we're 
kind of taking a chance with this pillow that we don't really know much about. Which isn't always the, oh wait, the smartest. But you know, we're kind of like flying by the seat of our pants today. Okay. Get it all out. I mean, I would be comfortable with a bit more, but let's see. I'm gonna spread it out with my hand. Oh, this is fine. I like spreading it out with my hands so I can actually feel, cause sometimes it's hard to gauge. So I can actually feel how much paint there is on here. All right, this takes a minute, but that's fine. Don't rush. And then, oopsie, and then we'll talk about layering. There's so many little gloopies in these paints, but that's fine. Okay, I believe we should be fine. So, here we are. Here okay. Move this out of the way. And so now you know I'm probably gonna make some sort of mistake at some point, but that's just the way it is. Okay, so technically I didn't I know I didn't talk to you about color. I'll try to remember what they all are. But basically in my colors I started with Diox Purple and um Australian Red Violet. I mixed them together, I lightened it up with black, I no, I lightened it up with white, darkened it up with black and I added some piggies, okay? And it made a really pretty gradient. So, I'm going like this, okay? I'm going like this, okay? One, I know this is gonna be crazy, just bear with me. And again, we don't know if it's gonna work, okay? Pinwheel, a pinwheel bloom, okay? Two. Now, I have to try not to be too messy. Okay. By the way, sorry. This was Diox mixed with black. This is um, TLP Violet Rain. Okay. This is Matisse Australian Red Violet. Okay. I'm not really doing a good job chanting out, am I? This is TLP Persephone. We're gonna go this way, okay? This is a custom one I made with the two colors, I believe, um, and white. I don't remember what I did with them. <laughs> you can watch the other video, okay? Then I have TLP Majesty. Okay, I know there's a lot of paint going down. Then I have, this is the final color. This is the two colors mixed together with white. So now we have the base of our pinwheel down. I know, you're like, what is happening? Okay, do, do not be alarmed because what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna start the dark here, okay? And then I'm gonna start the dark here, then the dark here, then the dark here, then the dark here. Catch my drift. And I don't have to lay as much down, so I'm going to go the same thing. I'm going dark, okay? This is why it's going to take a minute, but we don't care, okay? Then I'm going violet rain, okay? I'm going to try to go a bit faster. And then I'm going this. This might be ugly, but I don't care. You know what I mean? We're just having fun, doing ideas, living our lives, free of care. And judgment. <laughs> okay. Pinwheel. Catch my drift. It's gonna be good. Mm, I'll just put a bit here because it didn't really. Okay, now I'm starting here. Nope, here. See, I'm I told you I was gonna make a mistake. Okay, here. Here. This is a lot of paint. Here. 
I'm sure there's a better way to do it. So I'm sure you all experts will tell me. Here. Here. I'm losing my, my place, but we don't care. I think they're a little yucky as well. Here. Okay. Here. That was a big thing. Okay, now I'm starting here. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, God. Why don't I just, instead of, yeah, sorry. I'm just going to go like this, okay? Because it's getting a bit much. Okay. Yeah, this is probably the better way to do it. Okay. But at least uh, we're gonna have a lot of paint to blow through. Okay. Yep. Don't get too crazy though, Lisa. Just take your time here. Here. Okay. Here. Excellent. Starting again. Here. Hold on, let's go like this. Okay. Here, are you curious? How many more? I have two more. I mean, do I, I don't have to do two more. This is a bit much, right? Because I'm getting bored of this. <laughs> as long as I get some pinks over here. No, I gotta do it. Don't I? Two more, one and two. Here. Here. This better be worth it. <laughs> Here. Okay. Here. 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 Here, okay. I'm doing one more. What a mess, holy Janolis. Okay, put it back in the middle. But we can't stop now. Okay, if you were smart, you wouldn't do it as messy as me. I'm sure you all have much more patience in your life than I do, but it's fine. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know if this hair dryer is going to work. So what if all of this work is for nothing? Okay. We have done the pinwheel. Now guess what? I'm using two cell activators. Okay. Uh, I'm using white and in the video, I mixed up a rose gold and gold, okay? Now I am, you're not supposed to, don't tell anyone I'm scorching a little bit because it was just a lot of, okay? All right, now, do I wanna screw it up with my hair dryer or do I just wanna, yeah, let's screw it up, right? Now, do I want to keep um, this thing on? Or do I want to make it up like the round? Do I want to take the attachment off? I'll start with the attachment and see how it goes, okay? Oh God, I'm nervous. All right. I'm gonna go gold and then white on top, okay? We're just going for it at this point. Gold. White. Holy. <laughs> Ready? Okay, here we go.
Not too shabby, if you ask me. Okay, now, I mean, the shape's a little funny. I could fix it a little bit. Um, like right here, I know that's gonna bug me. So, I don't know if I wanna fix it too much before I spin it, cause you know it gets wonky, but let's just give it a little help. You know what I mean? Just a little bit of help there. A little bit of help here, like this. Okay. And, all right, I'm gonna start spinning her and it's gonna go wonky. So we're gonna have to figure out, but so far, I don't mind her at all, okay? She's doing a pretty good job with herself, if you ask me. Okay, so that side's coming off nice. Okay. Uh, I do, you know what, I should change my gloves because they do have some purple on them. But we want this side to flow off a bit more, don't we? You see, yes. Okay, here we go. Yep, there we go. She's spinning. It's turning out better than expected. Okay. Um, I still, she's still stretching kind of funny. Let's get her down more this way. But sometimes they just want to spin how they want to spin, right? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna spin a little faster, get all of that paint off. We're doing what, oops, <laughs> I just stepped on the plug so you can't see a thing. Oh my gosh, okay, hold your horses. I'm gonna plug you back in, okay? Because we have to see what we're doing. What did I even step on? something here. No? You don't want to turn on. Hold on. Hello there. Okay, the lights are off for now. I just want to keep spinning because I don't want to lose her momentum. Okay, but you can see it in the warm light actually. Right? Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. She's looking good. There's just a little, just a little part here. So what do you think? Okay, so I actually like that you guys can see it in the in this different light. Except I can't really see very well, but okay. Oh shoot. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't you worry. Okay. Um let's keep going. Okay. And I to figure out why you can't see anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're right. Okay, so she's doing well. Um, it didn't really like pinwheel as much as I expected expected her to. I just want to put a little right here like this. Um, you know what I mean? However, like the colors are so pretty. I am going to spin her a bit more down this way because the middle still is moving. Okay. Spin, spin, spin. We just got to keep spinning till the paint doesn't move because you don't want it to get melty and yucky. You know what I mean? Now, um, I am going to go through and check for like the little air bubbles that I need to fix. Um, but she's definitely cute. I'm glad I fixed what I fixed and definitely good for like a purple lover. You know what I mean? 
and look, you guys can see like the pretty colors, right? Um, so I'm just gonna take off a glove here and really, I, I see some air bubbles that need to be fixed, like this guy here. So I really wanna fix my light because that helps me see all the little bubbles. Um, you know what I mean? It's always something when I do these big guys for some reason. Well, I'm here, I'll just go to this. Um, they try to like, you know, mess me up. So I'm just gonna dip my tip into here and then fix some of the air bubbles because I don't want that white showing through. Dip the tip, you know how I like to do that. Okay. Um, dip it. I'm trying to kind of follow the colors. Uh, let's see, while well, I'm standing here. Yeah. I can't wait to show you in a proper light anyways, but. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm happy, do you see? Like, really nice colors, right? Um, now. Yeah, maybe I pulled it right out of the wall. I did pull it out of the wall. Okay, hold, hold, please. <laughs> it's very hard to get back here. And pull, pull. Yeah. Okay, she's. Oh my god. You guys, how annoying was that? Okay. This is actually under the warm light of my thing, which doesn't look so bad, does it? Okay, I'm gonna leave it on this light for a second and then I'll show you in the cool light as well. Um, now we're just looking for boob legs. I think she's cute, right? Um, okay, let me do a close up in this warm light. Then we will do, hold on, in the cool light. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Like I'm still ill and I'm crawling all over the floor. Uh, okay. So let me know what you guys think of this pinwheel bloom. Are you gonna try it? Is it worth that layering? Tell me what you think. Okay, bye. Okay, this is under my warm lights, my warm studio lights, which are different than my warm pot lights. But we'll see how we like them. If you can see the sparkle. This is under the cool lights. So hopefully you get an idea of the pretty colors going on here. Like the cells are really nice. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Bye.